Hey guys, I'm Alex Pierce, and today I'm going to be talking about how to bake textures using the GPU in Blender. Uh, if you're here, you probably need to know why, so maybe this isn't uh, crazy for you, but for me, this is, uh, I, I cannot believe I didn't know this before. I'm kind of embarrassed to even admit that I did not know you could bake with the GPU. Uh, if you're just baking PBR textures, it probably doesn't really matter, but if you're baking procedural textures, if you're baking, uh, certainly if you're baking lighting, the, the, the difference is just crazy. I'll just give you a quick example. Uh, rendering this, this uh, Suzanne here, we had uh, on CPU, it was three hours and 36 minutes to bake the lighting. With GPU, it was seven minutes and one second. Uh, I did some Google searching because I, I had seen some tutorial or read some article that said you can only bake textures using CPU. And I basically just have been doing that ever since. Uh, and, I, and I googled it and there's not a lot of great information out there, which is one reason why it might be confusing. The other thing is, uh, most people, if you have an RTX card, you set up your system to do optics, right? And when you have optics set up, you don't even get a bake option. Um, there's not even a bake option here. So you go, oh, okay, well, I guess it doesn't work. And then it doesn't work with GPU. And I tried a long time ago, what I did was I go, oh, maybe I can try CUDA but I had both of these checked because you would think, yeah, I might as well render on both uh, my graphics card and my CPU, but this is the trick to this whole process is, because you can bake, I, if I push bake right now, uh, it will bake using the GPU and CPU, but the thing is, it will be, it'll basically be as slow as doing it on the, on the CPU if you use both. You have to go into system preferences, go to CUDA, and uncheck this, uh, this box. It has to only say your graphics card here, uh, and that is the that is the key. That is the trick. Uh, and now you can bake using just a regular uh, with your regular GPU. So I this is not a baking tutorial, but I will just go ahead and bake this real quick so you can see it in action. Because I'm already here, so might as well. Uh, I'll make a new one. We'll call this "Bake My Life." <laughs> uh, we'll put it this at 2048 that's fine um, so let me see select Suzanne got to bake my life and then I'm gonna do let's do um, 128 samples and make sure this is selected uh, okay all everything looks good push bake and I hover over this and you can see it's gonna take about a minute and a half looks like maybe less We'll just wait while it finishes. Okay, there you have it. All right, so now I will just show you, let's see, let's go back to edit, preferences, system. Let's check this and we're probably not gonna watch it happen, but let's just watch. So I, I guess I could go ahead and show you what this looks like. Do -do -do. Just in case there's any doubt, <laughs> bake my life. There it is. All that lighting, baking information baked in. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go ahead and clear this image. We'll try. I checked the CPU, and now let's see what it says. Time remaining unknown. That's never a good sign. So I'm not going to wait too long here because, like, as I already said, uh, yeah, 25 hours it looks like. Looks like it's going to take 25 hours to render the same exact thing, uh, but it's basically using the CPU. Um, so, uh, oh, we got 1%. Let's see. Oh, it's gone down to 24 hours. Okay, all right. 24 hours to 49 minutes. All right. I'm not going to make you sit through all that. Uh, it's just, uh, uh, that's really all this, this tutorial is about. It's just showing you a very simple way to use your GPU to uh, bake textures. And hopefully this was helpful for you. And hopefully, hopefully you're new to Blender and you, you're stumbling upon this very early on and you don't have to go through the pain of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for your textures to bake. All right, uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, yeah, take care guys.